Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast, and I'm Mephone, and this is NBA 2K22 on 2K Sports. Hey guys, the new season of the NBA is back, and we have been taking off from here of NBA 2K22. So, it looks like a new season has already been started. What do you think here, my man? I think so. We're going to break things up together to start for our first game of the season. And this is season number six. That's right. We have seen every game that we are looking forward to. We have some greatest new players, some franchise players that we have ever seen before. Like it's the Greek freak of Giannis Antetokounmpo, Blake Griffin, Kevin Durant, James Harden, Joel Embiid, and so many other players to be seen in this game. So I hope you all enjoyed your Thanksgiving today, and hopefully you ate a lot of uh, turkeys or uh, mashed potatoes, or any kinds of uh, Thanksgiving uh, foods for the fest feasts. I think I just ate when it's too much. Is that right, Meatphone? Well, I think so it is. I, that might be the one thing at home in that time. And that could be the one thing that might be in trouble of you if you have ate too much of them right on you. So we have bought a first game matchup for right now as we are about to be taking a look for the first game of Season 6 for the new beginning after Season 5 of the completion that we've seen before. The first game matchup that we are about to do is Boston Celtics versus... The other team in New Orleans, the Pelicans. And looks like we have seen the uh, good games so far as we have one player that is transferred from the Charlotte Hornets and one player from the Memphis Grizzlies. And there's also another one here too that we also brought a return here from the Celtics. It's Al Horford. And right on then, Al Horford has been doing a lot of his game moments in his career. Most of the time, it's what he has done before. Lately, after playing with the Sixers and the OKC Funders. But now, they tell him that he's back in again, but won't be playing in the center. And there's also another one here, Dennis Schroeder, that he has been playing with the Lakers last season but refers to the Celtics to take another step closer to find another solution here. And right now, here are the starting lineups for the Boston Celtics. We have is Dennis Schroeder, Marcus Smart, Jason Tatum, Al Horford, and Robert Williams. And on the New Orleans Pelicans, we have Devontae Graham, Nikhili Alexander-Walker, Josh Hart, Brandon Ingram, and Jonas Valachunas. He's the only big center that he has been playing here so far, and what could be the relationship for this guy to be on the team? Well, no no other uh, team that was comparing from the Jonas Valachunas to the other guys. It was very hard for him that he was able to face his career for his famous people that we are able to see Jonas uh, Valachunas after playing with his last playoff season, after they put up a loss against in the... Um, against the first round of the Utah Jazz. But we're really happy for him that we are bringing him back once more. And as you take a look at the uh, rest of the lineups here, as Episode 9 is already out, Journey to Legend Season 2. If you missed one of the uh, episodes, you could check out the 2K TV right down there as well. Once you order the game, you will find 2K TV uh, once more. So, if you have the highest bid for a game, then don't worry. You have one thing that you could do for once. If it's Julius Randle, you are correct. If it's other players, then sorry, that is incorrect. And right now, let's get you over to the Smoothie King Century. And how many players in NBA history have played at least 50,000 minutes in the NBA? Uh, I got no idea for this one. I I might go for 11. Let's see. Oh, not that close already. It was four, it was seven. Oh man, uh, that was very close. All right, let's get to New Orleans and check out the first game. As Dennis Schroeder and the other guys are in the locker room, better be burned out to be ready to start for the first game of the opening night. 
And what a great downtown look in New Orleans, as you can see by the river and to the other side. So it's an amazing first game of the opening of the season that we bring here from the tonight at Smoothie King Century. So we have a lot of it in a moment to share about that one, but there's more to bring things away. And taking a look over here for Jalen Svanachunas, last five games after playing with the Grizzlies, it was 21.6, 64%, and now for this season, it's 19.3, 53% on his effort. So we have gotten a good game for his strategy, and we also have a lot of new members here. They will be reporting here on the sideline, and we'll take it from here on the other line. As we look at the starting lineups, the key matchup is Jason Tatum against Josh Hart in a small forward position. And for the other two guys, we have is Graham and the other sneak of the side. New coach, we have is Emu Uduko. What happened to Steve, uh, Brad Stevens so far here, Mephone? Well, Mephone has realized the response that Brad Stevens is able to miss out for this game, so unfortunately, without being said, he has gotten fired. But the new player has been released. New coach, maybe more than ever. So the game starts now, and we are about to see what's going to happen here to me, phone. Well, let's do things together. They're all fueled up, and we're ready to go. Here's Alexander Walker. He will be playing his first game of the season, and we got a steal from Jason Tatum. One-on-one -on -one fast break. Smart with the rebound, and he picks it up inside the rebound in the hoop. One of the better player, but you could definitely that Marcus is smart, is on the move. He knows his stuff, and after with this steal, he wants to head it back to himself to get the game on. Here's Hart, covered by Tatum. He was right down here by Ingram. Lays it up, and the shot's good. Ingram will take his first bucket here in this season. Ingram, like the only man for himself, he knows how he can do that one. Schroeder against Graham. Finds Williams. Williams takes the relay up. Assist by Schroeder. Once Dennis Schroeder has this game, he has a lot of moment to, to bring things up. If he will, he has to get there, but he has to know everything about himself. Graham to Ingram. Ingram. Alexander Walker takes the three. Short off the rim as it hits the backboard. Lot short, must contact for himself to try the number one. Tatum, the drive is good as Tatum will take his first bucket here for this one. And Dennis Schroeder takes the second assist in this game. Now on the other hand, we have his Ingram. He passed down to Hart. Hart to Graham. Graham to Alexander Walker as he misses first three pointer. Ingram, Graham for three, swashes in! It's Ingram with the assist! Most played this game, Ingram, what a guy! A first assist in this game he never faced before. Hard against Tatum, now he goes to Robert Williams. He's covered by Valanciunas, Schroeder to Graham. He's up. Rebounded by Valachunas. He will take his first rebound here in a game of 345 remaining. 6 to 5 is his score for the first period. Graham right to Alexander Walker. Walker to Ingram. He goes right to Graham. In the paint. Shots good. It's Graham with a second for the five point game. It's actually five points for this score, but now they have the team up in the lead. They're just doing my own thing. Schroeder, almost taking the ball away. Horford for three. And that's good. He will take his first three-pointer of the game, assisted by Dennis Schroeder. That will be three assists in the night. Al Horford, he's back. And he was definitely seeing the other teams that he can play again. But he just returned, so I really think he can try to do with the Boston Celtics if he wants to bring things back to the game. Hart outside, over with five, reverse it, and he goes in. Josh Hart will deliver the first bucket here as Graham takes the assist. Hart, no worries, no questions after being instantly more than ever. Shooter to Graham. Shooter against Graham, I meant. Valachunas grabs a nice D as Shooter takes a missed shot. 
Looking good here. Looking good. Keep it going here for Valentin. That's all. He's not going to pitch up to stop them prior to this game. Alexander Walker passes over to Graham. Fives to shoot. Hart Tatum with the steal. That will be his second one. Schroeder all alone. And that will be good for Schroeder. Crashes down on the floor. And that will be his first personal foul on Graham. So what a play here to this one. Schroeder goes like, oh my moments worse. First start of his opening season. More than ever then, you can definitely tell that Dennis Schroeder, he's been taking his shots more or longer than ever. And if you haven't seen his shot, that's more what you can officially have to tell. Schroeder has got two. He will take one shot left with just 2.05 remaining. Schroeder able to pick up an easy bucket. He will lay it up inside for one. We are approaching down to two minutes left in the first quarter. Brandon Ingram to Lewis Jr. His first player to be playing here for the NBA season. Lewis Jr. back inside. Lewis Jr. can hit the two as he missed up with 0 for 1. Richardson to Stardaransky. Richardson going around over Hayes. And a good block here with a nice defense on Hayes. More than you can definitely realize that. Hayes, he's going to start for this season if he wants to go for number one. Marshall to Hayes. Goes back to Marshall. Three ball for Lewis. Lewis hits the three outside in the middle. More of that. Look at that. A three-pointer. Perfect. He's, he's smooth here for this first game. Schroeder. In nowhere around. He goes in the paint. Oh, that's too easy. We're leaving a man open already. But that might be one. It can be a little bit difficult. Ingram to Sederensky. 50 seconds remaining. As he sets out of bounds, it will be a first turnover on the Pelicans. Here are the Eastern Conference standings as Boston has started up for this game. Only four wins here to pit up the opening night of the season for the Celtics. And yeah, definitely what you can definitely uh, what you're looking for. Celtics, they they're looking for some franchising players, and with no Kyrie Irving at that point to be in Celtics, we may not have any other player to go for an open look here. So with a three-pointer has come up to slam it in. 35 seconds left. Marshall, he goes right to Hayes. Three-pointer, Lewis Jr. He missed out on that run as he gets his first miss of the three-pointer. Lewis Jr. trying to find the pressure on here. With 15 seconds to go. Tatum outside. Ingram covered up. Screen, he check it. Williams, and there's a foul called on the Pelicans as Hayes takes his first. Well, that's going to be a very tight spot here for, for the Pelicans as we got a good look at the layup. He's nice in control. He's in the balance of this, this one. He's just trying to keep it right. So that will be three team fouls here on the New Orleans Pelicans with 9.7 to go. Two shots will be on, as when his season can come to another strength of his run, he wasn't able to uh, look for his first game of the run. What do you think about this one here, B-Phone? Uh, I have no questions on that one. There's just a lot of uh, players that can be a little bit difficult here to uh, try to fight another way here. But there might be some solutions out there if we are looking for another run in this season. So just to know that Zion Williamson is not on the court so far, he is out and he has no idea if he will return for this season for the start. So it was a disappointing run here for the first game and that will be tough. Temple, Brosbier, he goes off and that's going to be the end of the first quarter with a score is 19 for Boston and 12 for New Orleans or the Nova. We'll be right back after this one. Don't go anywhere. The second quarter is coming up after this. 
demoralize the uh, opponents. And I think it gives my teammates so much confidence. Tell them, hey, shoot it with confidence. And if you miss him, I'm gonna go get it for you. For some reasons of the uh, of Ennis Cantor, he has a lot of his moment to make his stride will even become better after he played with him last season. For his moment that he was not able to pick up his game is the most saving rebounds and missing out with the Portland Trail Blazers in this run. So Ennis Cantor got a good flow here to start off in the second quarter as he just keeps it going. Try to pick up the run, it might be a little bit hard for him. Sadoransky to Lewis Jr. Open look, Temple, wise open the three and he will take the first three pointer of the game. Temple looking good. He's gone a good start run for his season with the Pelicans. Let's see if he can keep it up. Right now, here's a look here for Richardson to Pritchard. Pritchard hasn't played here for his first game since he's a rookie. Williams outside, four to shoot. Williams takes a drive up the layup, and that will be in there for two. Looking for another run here. Here's Lewis Jr. He passed off to Sadoransky. Now he bits back to Lewis Jr. Moves over to Temple. A lot of good ball action and moving the ball around a bit. The screen may be rejecting it. Temple inside and the foul's called on Boston. Now the Ennis Kenner with his first personal foul, first team foul on Boston, or second team, first team foul on Boston. While Ennis Cantor, he really has a lot of a defensive struggle on this relation. After with a screen look here, Temple could find an open man and he might go for the shot. So Temple is at the free throw line shooting two. They stop the clock at 4.38 to go. His first shot comes in handy. And here are new players coming in at that point. Al Horford checking in for Ennis Cantor and Rory Williams, Robert Williams, checking back in. Four new players checking back is Valachunas, Temple, Hart, and Graham. And Temple, he will take one more. He's no problem on that free throw. His free throw is definitely easy for him. He's been playing and practicing with his shot for his next season. I think he might be going for it again. That might be a lot of hard work on his dedication. His side, look. Oh, what a great D, Valentunas, but he gets a rebound. But not a problem here for the rebounding stride for Boston to pick up 25 to 17 with 415 remaining. And yeah, the the defenders are definitely they're trying to look out for the pressure, but this might not be enough for him. And when you're definitely looking on that run, you might be uh, having a hard time if you're if there's an open man, you might leave him behind on that run. So Josh Hurt with the layup, and here's uh, our lane here for Boston. Screen on Alford. Nice Smith. He goes right to Harford. Temple on a carry. Yep, and he goes. The rebound taken over by Hart. Al Horford misses the two. Looking solid indeed. Comfortable on the switchback run. He might go for another one. Temple to Marshall. Back to Temple. Double man on him. Hart coming in with another look here. Open look for Temple's good. Temple takes two more three pointers after the free throw, and he will be picking up his first game for three. He's off in a stride. What a play for him. Oh, and Pritcher taking the upper direction. He will take the first three-pointer for the Boston Celtics. A lot of switchback here from Celtics to Pel I mean, Celtics to Be Pelicans and Pelicans to Boston. Graham for three. Gets it in. Oh, yeah. Graham is just even on fire at that point. He could be starting up for his game without the Hornets being missed. Smart for three. It rebounded by Hort as Marcus Smart misses the three for the three-pointer outside the range. Double man carried. Graham outside. Now he goes back to Temple. Eight points in the game. He's on his streaking run. Finds Valachunas. He goes right over to Williams. Try to make a shot. 
And that's going to be tricky, and he makes it there. Very good. Valachunas finally gets his first bucket of the night. Valachunas, difficult throw, difficult shot, but that's going to be for his first look of his first time effort. Two minutes to go by the first half. It's 28 to 27, and a steal is on Marshall. Marshall gets his first steal of the game. Temple outside. Looking for a chance. Valachunas with the fade. Open look on Graham. Six to shoot. Valachunas try to look at it around. Open lead. Hart. In there. A swishing three for Hart. Timeout on Boston. Looking comfortable out there. What a start here for the first half. Hart is like on fire here. And he's bringing things on the game. So right now, Boston calls timeout with 1.32 remaining, and Pelicans with a two-point lead in this strategy. After the Boston Celtics with the win against uh, the, the Clippers in their last season of the game, on the holidays, they made a great switch here, and we found out Jonas Valachunas is making moved up to the second spot, 14.2, right behind Rudy Gobert's leading score. And how does it feel for Valachunas to be in the game and trying to work his way on the run? Oh, I'm telling you this one. This is more what you can definitely feel. That Valachunas is able to uh, compete with a lot of great players that he has respond with. John Morant and other guys as well. But most of his time uh, in his career is just more than he has ever been playing here with a team that he has never faced a challenge. And when you see him, you might be finding another look at the man on uh, the run, and it might be tough for them to give him an eye on. After Ingram with the score, here's uh, Dennis Schroeder. We are under a minute to go. Tatum with a three, open, and that's good. They brought it back into an open lead here for the start of the first half of the, of the second quarter. Ingram outside. And here's Alexander Walker, a three-pointer is off, and mark it away. Well, the three-pointer is not even just a good responder here. That will be hard for Alexander Walker to score on his run. Smart inside, covered by Graham. Over Graham, and a solid D on Graham, and a rebound will be on Hart. That's three rebounds in this game, with just 20 seconds to go. Looking good. You don't give up in this one here with the defense. What a play for Hart. Ingram, inside, and he goes up, and foul, calls on Boston, L.B. Williams, first personal foul. Ingram is bringing it up for a two-point, going for a dunk here, I don't see anything going on for him. And second team foul picked up on Boston, with only 10.4 seconds. I don't see Ingram with the slam, slam dunk, he was giving it a little bit hard, and it looks like Williams was putting a pressure on him. That will be his hard moment that he has ever faced it before. Ingram will take the first one in. And a new change up for the Boston as Cantor, as William goes out with Marcus Smart. And Richardson will be checked in as well. So much to cover here. There will be more spots underway. Plus, you cannot forget about the uh, holidays of the holiday night. It's coming up. It's coming your way here on December 5th with the start of the holiday night. Five seconds remaining. Tatum up. Shot's good. And this will pick up one point lead. Ingram with the buzz meter. Oh! Ingram. No stopping on this one, and the first half closes 36 to 35. Oh man, why you love that one to hear? He's incredible to pick up his strength. Well placed in this run, and right now we're going to take a quick break for the halftime show. We'll be right back after this. Here are the first half for the Pelicans and Celtics.
Here are the halftime reports for the first half analysis. Welcome back at the Smoothie King Center as we are ready to start off with the third quarter. Prepping up here for the buzz beater with Brandon Ingram. He has been coming up here for since he has been playing with the Pelicans so long that he has never done it before. And for Devontae Graham, he has a lot of his strength here. For a moment of his time has been bringing on with his game after he had missed out with the Hornets last season in Season 5. But let's see how well he can get up to it right now. We'd like to for you to welcome back here for the NBA of this season for the opening night here for, for Season 6 of NBA 2K. Now we get started up with the second half as we have Alexander and Smart on the cover. Over and look here and almost re-off ejected, but Al Horford takes the save here as he takes it back for the game. Close call, close call, not even as close to Gar already. It might be very tough for him for making his run so far off. Alexander Walker to Graham. Bounce pass to Valanchunas, right over Williams. Tough shot, but he missed off the wedge here with the rebounding on Boston. And a drive coming in. Marcus Smart, rebounded by Williams. What the pass! What a play here for New Orleans Pelicans to find the answer. And Ingram, whoa, no problem here. Graham with the re, with the re, um, with the returning comeback here to try to finish it off. What a play this comes out. Oh, of course, Graham is just able to uh, help out his team win the game. He has nothing to strip air about, but that's more what he can do. Graham alley -oop. Oh! Dennis Schroeder, I bet. That was going to be Dennis Schroeder. And Robert Williams takes a six points. Three rebounds. Only one turnover. Oh, good thing that definitely turned out to be Dennis Schroeder. How smart can he be? He's too good. Graham, right by Dennis Schroeder. Only seven to shoot. Finding a look and open. Alexander Walker. Graham, Hart. With the shot clock clearing out, and we got a foul called on Pelicans. It's Brandon Ingram, his first personal first team foul. Now Pritchard will check in for Marcus Smart as he will be taking the bench. This was in tight game for intense of a matchup, and I'm thinking that Boston Celtics have a lot more room to try to figure it out. Where they try to go for the breakdown score, that will be their one. Dennis Schroeder, he's doing a lot of good work out there. He might be finding another one if he has done it. Alexander Walker, he goes right to Lewis Jr. Three-pointer, Marshall goes in there. That will be a first three-pointer for Marshall as they tie it up by 41 with just 3.30 to go. Marshall, my guy, he's not Never done it before here, but that will be his first three that he has done before his game. Schroeder, Tatum for three. The lead won't go, and it's rejected! Oh, took it back by Horford. Three for Schroeder, and that's good. That will be assist by Horford after the turnover by the Pelicans. Well, looks like Al Horford, he definitely did show up most of the time. Marshall, up again. Finds Hayes. Now moving the ball over to Lewis Jr. Three for Alexander Walker. Finds the answer as Hart starting to deliver with the game. As they are picking up, back up by 44. 2.40 to go. Lewis Jr. with the assist. And Tatum going back inside and out again. Williams. Oh! What a... Just a great killer out there. A block by Hayes. No question. Get out of here. No dunk contest. There's no cigar. No blocks. No problem. Hayes just got two in a row. Marshall in a lead. That's good. And they picked it up by three. Most game is just turning out to be incredible. They're the first time for the night. 
We just down to play with three quarters, and we got two minutes up here. Tatum makes an easy drive, but that will be two-pointer again for Tatum for this season. Tatum is on the goal already. He is never showing it before. But when you think about it here, Beast, there's more of that, I feel, when, when Jason Tatum really needs that energy. He might be going for a run for him, for himself. Lewis Jr. to Marshall. Marshall around Tatum. Rejected out. It's Tatum with, with a carry to a rebound. Pritchard on Alexander Walker. Finding a heavy contested. It's Schroeder against Lewis Jr. Horford tried to deliver the screen, but if it's off wide, and a alley oop unsuccessful. Marshall of the Ingram. Oh, we checked it. That was on Williams once more. No sir -ree. You can't feel what this block is. And that was a mobile one block. That Williams had been picking up his first game of the season to try to deliver it off the side of it. So there are new three players coming in as uh, Williams, Cantor, and Richardson are checked in. And for the other side, two players are off the court as Sorensky and Temple are checked in. Just 103 to go. Sadaransky, Temple for the three, in the lead. Temple's got 11 points in this game, and they're back up by three. Oh, Tatum, he delivered a dunk. And just how quick he goes already. They're down by two. Well, Tatum, he's delivering it out with this game. I really think it's going to be very hard for him to try to fix it as on his run. If he was looking to dab it. Marshall back in, Sadoransky, no question for three, and he gets a three-pointer, first three of the night. Sadoransky got his points on the board, he finally have it out, and he delivered it all night long. Tatum again, he, that's good for the outside, Tatum picking up a number three, they're down by one. Close call so far. I think Jason Tatum is on a hot streak, looking for hot hands. He might go for it. Scoring streak might be Jason Tatum, but there might be only down to 10 seconds. Sadoransky finds Hayes over Ennis Kenner, and Kenner takes a hard, smooth run on the defense. And a half court shot, no good. Fourth quarter's ended. It's 53 to 51 for the game of the opening drive. We only had played three quarters. Last quarter will be coming up after this. Let's grab a good look here for the State Farm Assist of the game. So we are looking for some one of the players that there is another chance for him. And you really can see that Josh Hart, he's really picking up his drive. And for the Pelicans on the other side of the run, they may have another strength for him. Graham is doing a lot of good work ethic out there and forever. And the announcer says it's the fourth quarter. Let's get it done. Graham to Sodorensky as we have done a lot of great games out there. Two blocks on Hayes. Three pointers are turning amazing on Temple. And not just the only one that Brandon Ingram has gotten into it. He's got a lot of it to pick it up. Sodorensky delivering it for the two. Amazing drive. Sodorensky, he's definitely doing really well. But his most of the time, he's just trying to keep an eye on if he wants to go for another one. Williams inside. Canner with a rebounding over Valanchunas. And that shot's no good. Hart takes a delivering press of four rebounds here for this season. Now he goes to Valanchunas. Zadaransky. Make it dry. Make it count. And it goes off the rim as the foul calls on Richardson. That'll be another team foul on Boston. First personal on Richardson. And look at that. Sadoransky, he made a great move here for the uh, for the drive. And without all his moment, he was silent in the first half. I mean, almost for the first half. But right now, he's definitely gotten it back in here. So he was doing really well at that point. Sometimes, he might have to go big here. 
This is in one of the ledge. Beast was going for another one. And when you're talking about Sadoransky with this game, you can feel what his pressure is made of. And for the only guy for himself, he has done so many of our gaming that he has had to deliver it out with his team. And for players that we are giving it out for Sadoransky, he has a lot of uh, enthusiastic out there, improving his uh, quite development at that point. He's doing a lot that well that he has ever faced. So Sadoransky has taken the deliver of two free throws of this game. With just 5.06 to go, Richardson passes to Schroeder. Schroeder going inside, Williams up, and it's off with a carried rebound on the Celtics. Schroeder gets it back. A tight defense here on Graham. Try to pick up inside the paint. Schroeder over the round. Rebounded by Annis Kenner. William for three. And a putback. That's on Annis Kenner. A saving look at the game. And he says, I got this. He is on the roll. Annis Kenner, got to watch out for him. He's a big guy here from the center. Don't want to give him tricks on that. Sadoransky. Try to look for a man opener, and he finds Hart. Sadoransky, Graham for three. No good. That will be another rebound here for Richardson as they turn it the other way. Sadoransky and a uh, number of guys. Looks like Graham was really trying to try to go for the fast pace of a look. He's not, he's not kind of like picking up his strength, but that's more what he could realize how hard he has done. And what a move, and he is up, and he goes up by two. Only biggest game, same summary, a big lead change up for Boston by nine. 11 and change, and, and tie it up with seven in a row. And what's big about here, that's just how, how hard he could definitely go for. If there are another changes, another ties, no problem. There might be one thing that could be another. Sadoransky missing the three, Valachunas with the rebound, an awesome effort here. Valachunas try to deliver it up from here, try to go around around the block. Ingram up he goes and he makes a spin move. Ingram delivering out 12 points in the game as they are up by four. Ingram no problem on the run and he definitely made a whirl around here like a windmill. Williams up, shots is off but he delivers the rebound and he delivers it off with the shot. And now the second to last timeout is called by Nola with 2.53 to go. A lot of great defense, a lot of great offense. There might be one thing at a time. So we are approaching down here just about a better game for this one. And as you can tell by New Orleans Pelicans, they've lost against the New York Knicks last season at the Madison, at the Garden in New York City. With a lot of game changing at the make, they got a lot of great intense intense players who are able to pick up their strength on the run on that on that game instantly. And most of all importantly how hard they worked. Yeah that's right here Center Beast and we can definitely see that the Pelicans really are missing for our Zion Williams here for last season as he's definitely never got it back here since he was out there all alone. And when he was looking for himself to try to pick him back up that's more what he can definitely have. And for last season, that was the Knicks that bring it up with a great scoring game on their drive. Well played on that run, too. And here is your New Balance player of the game. This one goes out to Devontae Graham. And Devontae Graham, he was able to pick up his receiving games of his moment. The drive that he has been pulling it out. Not all along. But this moment has definitely been changing it up since last season playing with the Hornets and he now wants to go help them out with another team. So here's Graham. He has got 8 points in this game. Terrific 5 assists here in this game. And no saving rebounds in this one. Alexander Walker very early on the shot as a rebounded by Williams. You don't want to go too early in that game because if you go too early, that will be on you. They're trying to Schroeder missing a spin around jumper with the fade away as, uh, as another one comes up to Valachunas. Four rebounds. 
Alexander Walker, pass up the heart. And a screen, pick up in Marshall, and it's good. That will be Hart with the assist of this game. Not at all. He's definitely got a lot of it going down. 2.05 to go in the fourth quarter. We're almost done there, team. Jason Tatum making a drive, and that will be easy for him as Jason Tatum gets 16 points in this game and 10 in the paint. How hard can that be? I can't believe that Jason Tatum was definitely going. Alexander Walker, Graham up to a hard deep three. And that will be off the mark here as Dennis Schroeder will take the other way on the other hand. Wow! Williams gets a dunk here. We better check this out. A great slam dunk. Robert Williams. He's on the move. No question of this guy. He's on the killer. And that was your slam dunk by AT&T for 5G Network. Hart. Right back to Alexander Walker. Three for Hart. No problem! Oh, gosh. Hart was definitely... He was just a smooth on that one. Ten points in this game. Not, not even a chance. He's like a hardcore working. Jason Tatum in the other lane. Takes the two. And they're closing the gap out 64-63 to 63 in this game. Graham to Hart. Hart, right to Graham, yeah, Alexander Walker, back over to Graham, right back to Alexander Walker, Alexander Walker to Hart, five to shoot, inside, denied by Jason Tatum, and a three for Graham, oh, would have been taken inside and out, but that gone with another three-point miss, smart in the lead, rebounded by Valanciunas. I thought that the Boston Celtics definitely wanted to take the lead of this game, but that could be very tougher than the score. Alexander Walker to Hart. To Valanciunas. Inside. Up and around. It's no good. Timeout. Boston. As they stop the clock at 23.4 seconds. It's 64 to 63. Would have been a finishing close call here for Valanciunas after they make up a one miss. Three team fouls on the Pelicans, and the other team that bring it up here was the top call to score one team, one timeout, three team fouls on Boston. Well, it's more, but definitely really needs to see things up. It's to go for a hard pressure here on the defense. So here are the uh, emphasis of the uh, team comparison. 21 rebounds for the Celtics, 12 rebounds for the Pelicans. A great steal here for the Pelicans as they pick up four and instantly by three for Celtics. Two blocks for the Celtics and both of them teams have turnovers. And number four in the spot. So they're going to have to blind it back up, make the crowd go loud as they are pushing it down again. Tatum trying to look for his key quench. And he calls a offensive foul. That will be on Williams to turn it over. And most of that, I can definitely see that the defense is bringing a, a this struggle breakdown here on that run. Tough for him, but that's more what he has done. And this one will be crystal foul on the Schroeder. One more left to go. And that will be it. Second personal foul, third team foul on Boston. That will be Devontae Graham taking two shots with 17 seconds. Dennis Schroeder may be looking for himself to try to face off a win. And that might be a tough angle to give him another try. His first shot's good. And with one shot remaining, it will be the falling of the game. There you have it. 66 to 63, last time out on the Celtics before the regulation time is over. 
Mifon, it's been a great competition. The matchups here in between Boston and New Orleans, which is NOLA. What do you think of this game? Well, I'm telling you this one, we got a great matchup in between the tents of this ball game. Ah, uh, yeah, definitely feel that one. A lot of strength, a lot of game, a little hard drive. Many players are coming up for only one time at, a, at, a, at the court. They realized they were definitely really keeping it on. But sometimes uh, the player might be giving a little hard, uh, hard emotion out there. That might be a good finish off of the game to just try to stop them. And maybe there might be another one to just go take it easy. From offense to defense and defense to offense. So that brings up here with the out of timeouts with Boston. And they may have a chance to take the tie for three-pointer or not. Here we go, Tatum with a tie. And that brings up out of bounds, it will be Nola Ball. Oh man, Jason Tatum, he's definitely got desperate here for this first game of his season. And yeah, that we definitely tell you that one here. This one before. Yeah, it looks like uh, Jason Tatum is really going to try to tie this game and go to overtime. Only one we have shown here before was the was the Denver Nuggets against the Indiana Pacers here for the back of the first season of this game. So after the foul was given up on Schroeder, it will be Graham taking two free throws. Makes the first. Last one will be the win. And that goes in. Graham takes 12. And only 10 seconds left to play in the regulation. Tatum makes a three. Five seconds. Oh, and another foul goes on Schroeder. That will be his fourth personal foul. A lot of fouls, a lot of contacts on Schroeder. He wanted to go for the seal and try to tie it up. Or lead it. Graham makes the first. And last one to go. He hits the second. Last possession for the Celtics. Schroeder trying to look up at a run. Three for Smart. No good. That's it. Through the game. Final score. New Orleans Pelicans, 70. And Boston Celtics, 66. So that is the first game at the end of the season. Hope this comes along with a huge all support. And for the 75th season of NBA. And now let's get you to the court side right on that angle. And for Brandon Ingram, how well he has been playing, here's what he has to say. Thank you so much here, and we about all the support. We'd like to thank you for joining us here for NBA 2K22 opening game for the first time in season six of Pelicans vs. the Celtics. And if you'd like to check out the uh, previous season of the NBA, make sure you head over to the playlist section of season five of NBA 2K. It will be on NBA 2K21 right on the other angle as it might be showing you from the other side of it to bring things on. And now for your player of the game for the drive hard impact with the win that put up a good saving here was Devontae Graham. Like an unstoppable killer out there, like in the moment here, right b -phone? Well, more than ever, if you really seen Brandon Ingram, he might be showing things off and just a lot of skills that he might have gotten into this. So there are your three stars players of this game. At number three, we will be heading it over, and it was Jason Tatum that picked up 21, one block, and one assist, three rebounds. That will be it. 
Thank you for joining us here, and we'll see you on the next game of NBA 2K22. Without all the support, me, phone, and Son of Beast. This is Son of Beast on the channel, and we like to say, peace out world, for as a while as the NBA 2K22 dial. Thank you for joining us, and see you next time. Peace, and till next time. Good night in New Orleans, in Louisiana. Until next time.